Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how I achieved this Halloween pin mouth makeup tutorial. So if you recreate this look, don't forget to hashtag SlayedByJHalloween2015 and keep watching. Thank you. So first to begin the smoky, I'm going to begin by priming my eyes and you can use whatever primer that you have. Mind you, this part is optional, so if you want to skip to where I start my face, then you can go to the video at 3 minutes. But I'm going to be using a lot of browns and oranges to give me that transition that I need before applying the black eyeshadow. And to apply the transition color, I'm using a fluffy brush, so any fluffy brush will, that you have will work. a sweeping motion and just pack that on until it's black enough and mind you I already did my foundation and eyebrows off camera any however you want to do your foundation is totally up to you that's not the important part so I didn't include that on the video and then now I'll be going back in my crease with an orange that I use and I'm just gonna blend that into my crease so I don't have any harsh lines and just to give me that gradient effect gel eyeliner and pack that on top of the black eyeshadow just to hold it all into place so it doesn't go slipping and sliding everywhere and then back again with the fluffy brush I'm just gonna blend that all together and then using uh, that same flat brush I'm just gonna smoke will smudge out the bottom waterline and then I'm gonna add some orange and uh, like a burnt brown orange at the bottom too as well just to give me that gradient effect and sorry I sound so sick. I don't know if I'm sick or it's my allergies, so that's why I sound like this. And now using any red eyeliner that you have, it doesn't matter, lip liner, and I'm gonna outline my the corners of my mouth. I don't really know how to explain what I'm doing, but you guys can see. <laughs> Then I'm just going to take a red eyeshadow and pack that on top of the red eyeliner just to set it in place and make it look a little more red. So next you're going to want to take like a square of tissue and then rip it in half so it's like one sheet, like only half of the sheet, you know. And then take liquid latex and then place it right over where you outlined your mouth. And then it dries kind of fast so I put the tissue on right away, like right over the liquid latex. And then I did the other side so it wouldn't dry. And then once you put it on both sides, just set it with another layer of liquid latex. So after I add the layer of liquid latex on top of the tissue, I'm just going to cut around everywhere else so it's not like flapping around, you know? And once 
once I'm done cutting it, I'm just going to go anywhere else I forgot to add liquid latex or where anywhere else that needs liquid latex just to make sure that it's really sticking onto my face. Um, you want to kind of apply a generous amount of liquid latex on your face. because the liquid latex and the tissue will do that by itself so you don't have to like press your lips together. And then again I'm just going to cut around where any extra tissue is and then just set that with another layer of latex. And don't forget, just remember not to hold your lips together because it'll do that itself. And you see I got a little open space, I'm just going to go in and add another piece of tissue right there and then put place some latex on top. <laughs> I am mixing these two and I'm going to use a beauty blender but you do not have to use a beauty blender you can use a brush and then I'm going to just cover all of that with foundation all of this mess I just made <laughs> concealer that's what I'm doing right now I don't know why I didn't show the concealer in the video but I'm just gonna place that on top of the foundation and again blend that all out for any guys doing this video you guys are gonna have to go play your girlfriend's wives makeup just so you can get the same look or go out and buy some makeup it doesn't have to be expensive very gently you're gonna cut that smile open on both sides and um, this part was kind of hard for me so just be careful while you're doing it and I am having trouble on the other side as you can see so I take a safety pin first just to poke a hole just to give me somewhere to start <laughs> stick that in between like where I cut just to make my smile look deeper you don't have to use eyeliner if you have like um that stuff from Ben Nye or like any black like I don't know makeup paint you can use that as well and then you're gonna cut the top flap of your smile that part that's just hanging um just to open up that smile now Purple just 
just to give me bruising and give it some color just to make it look a little more realistic and you don't have to use eyeshadow if you have again I don't know what the stuff is from Ben Eye, but if you have that you can apply that on your face and then I'm just gonna take flake fake oh no fake blood and then this angled brush it's a paint brush that I got from Target and I'm just gonna apply that all throughout my smile until it just looks as realistic and as bloody as I want it to look so have fun with this part and you can also take like a q-tip and then just clean it up a little bit just add as much blood as you want and I really do like this uh, Craftobian blood gel it stays shiny poking the pinning the safety pins through my smile and just be very careful with this part don't poke yourself I was having trouble so I do like the rest of them off camera because it was just so hard for me to do but yeah and I use different size ones big small so make it fun so then I'll be taking rigid collodion which is like the scarring stuff and um, I'll be using a red pencil and a brown pencil and I'm gonna like just mark that all over my face. It doesn't have to be neat. There's nothing neat about this look at all. And then, um, yeah, I'm just gonna mark everywhere that I wanna have a scar. And then I'm gonna place three layers of the rigid collodion on top of my skin, you know, and it, that'll just make me appear that I have a scar. And just let it dry once you are done placing that on top. And only on the brown scars where I use the brown pencil is where I'm placing eyeshadow just to make it look like bruising. And on the red ones, I'm going to be placing the blood gel on top of that to make it look bloody. the blood gel on top of the scars I did put some more of the um, rigid collodion on top just to make the blood look like a scar it kind of made it look more realistic for me. then I'm just kind of gonna go crazy with this blood spray that I got from Target and I'm just gonna spray that on my face like wherever I want like wherever I want the blood to fall so again have fun with this and then um, I did tear up a shirt and put some eyeshadow black eyeshadow on my fingers just to give me kind of a grunge look and I also put black paint on my hands as well and like rub it in like lotion just to make me look dirty and yeah Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you do remake this look, just hashtag Slayed by J Halloween 2015 and go follow me on Instagram. Thank you guys so much.